Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I'll tell all my friends of this fortune. I thought you were a cheat, a swindler, but you were right. Lord, light your way. What has spurred his little heart? Ah, my soon-to-be highly coveted elixir. You see, one gulp puts you to sleep, and when you wake up, you are suddenly richer. <laughs> I have not heard this ruse before. It sounds like one I know, and I cannot explain how it works, but it does. Take that gentleman's elation as proof. He and many others have returned to me, all with different tales to tell, but all wealthier in the end. All right. Give me the elixir. I don't have any on hand. To brew this elixir involves great risk. You must be certain you are up for the challenge. Won't know until I hear it. Very well. There are two crucial ingredients you must bring me. Bear testicles and fresh lichen. Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of here where the bears have taken a liking to winter chanterelle. As for the lichen, you can find some growing in the well outside. Be careful. there.
Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of here where the bears have taken a liking to winter chanterelle. As for the lichen, you can find some growing in the well outside. Be careful. Here, I have brought what you asked for. Very good. Let me get to work. I will have the elixir ready shortly. There we have it. One elixir of miraculous wealth. Enjoy. Fucking alchemist. Looks as though this one took the elixir as well. Ended up here, but could not get back out. I should return to the alchemist, see if he knows what happened. Hmm. <laughs> 
all know my name is Winchell the Rogue Free. <laughs> My skin forever. I made you what you are. My principles led to your great nudity. To all tyrants of garb, let it be known you are... Why are you naked? Because my uncompromising lack of clothes brings me joy. Yet my very own sect of pious nudists tossed me aside. Nudists? Those who bear their skin for pleasure. Indeed, we, we bear our skin at all times, in the tradition of great Greeks and Romans. Yet some say I am too... Enthusiastic. Nude in prayer, at meal times, at work, in the streets and alehouses, everywhere. For Jesus loves us best as we were born. But the group I founded has expelled me. Oh, if I could exact revenge, steal their clothes and render them nude forever, I would. Hmm. <laughs> where we put our clothes. Feel free to store yours in there, too. Dear friend, relax your body and cast away your loins. There's a fresh, gorgeous beast of a soul joining us. joins the ranks of the Liberated. Greetings, Dame. This is our private celebration of skin. We are open to all who strip. Would you join us? I met a man who claimed to have created this club. What happened to him? Oh, Winchell. Yes. He was a bit too, um, <clears throat> assertive for us. He was overly tempted by bare flesh, so we had to send him away. I would be honored to join your group. Where do I place my clothes so I can start dancing? Wonderful! A new member. Simply place your clothes in that crate hidden by the tent and partake in the liberation. Relax your body and cast away your... Oh, that's the crate where we put our clothes. Feel free to just put your... Hey! Stop!
For Ben, what happened? Be chair, Beth, he. Where we've just put your hey, stop that clock. Stop it, thief. Gas thief. you're nude forever, as Winchell wanted. <laughs> now they will adhere to your principles. Yes! You have carried out my revenge. Wonderful. Now they must revel in their nudeness forever. If you like, I have a luminous text with my teachings, a breviary of why one must trust their body's exposed sinew. Enjoy. Be well, Winchell the chest free.
It is over. You can come out now. Tarquin? My Thane! What has happened? Your caps have fled. Felt a little soft for my liking. What are you really doing in there? Oh god, no! It was only a game! A romp! My dear Tarquin, how could you? I saw a man holding you against your will. All a part of the seduction! <laughs> oh god. You really thought my life was in danger? And you've risked your own. Oh, you. Oh, you are so brave. A fine protector. Tell me you're joking. Please, you must fight for me. Who knows what lurks below? What vile people might come to harm me? I need a protector, stout and resolute. Please, stand guard below. If I do, will you come out? Assuredly. Stand at the door below. That will place you directly between me and any bad, bad men. Trouble coming. Oh, good. Real trouble. Keep quiet. now. I'd say that's worth a look. Ugh. me Strike for Christ! I think it is time I take my leave. Torch. 
I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget it. You said you would bring it. Ah, you fool! Please do not distract us. We're trying to solve a problem here. We need fire to set the house ablaze. Think, think! How could you forget the torch? I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget it. You said you would bring it. Ah, you fool! Must I do everything? Please do not distract us. We're trying to solve a problem here. We need fire to set the house ablaze. Think, think! How could you forget the torch? I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget it. You said you would bring it. Ah, you fool! Must I do everything? Have a look, Sunan. You said you would bring it. Uh, you fool! Must I do everything? Look! This stranger has helped us! Come here, Sprout! Who are you? You wanted fire. There you have it. Though I get the sense you two are ill fit for whatever it is you're plotting. This one takes us for a fool, brother. We sons of Ragnar have this well under control. No, we do not. The sons of Ragnar? I know of many, but never have I heard of dull and duller. What is your plan here? We set up that abandoned house to practice a raid. Build it with our most precious things to up the stakes. Even master raiders such as we need to stay sharp, brother. You better hurry. Yes! For glory! Please, come with. I do not want to do this with my brother alone. This raid will harden our legacy, brother. Clans will come crawling, begging us to join them. Our names will echo in the halls of Valhalla. And worry not, Spudding Sprout. Together, we will grow you into a fine warrior. I get the feeling we haven't much to teach her. Go on, brother. Like we talked about. Blow these doors in like a punishing storm! Stand back, Sprout, and observe. You may learn a thing or two. I am excited. You must hear it in my voice. Ah, I cannot do it! Gentle as a lamb. Stand aside. What is wrong? The door is not opening! Use the key! Ah, yes. Uh... Uh... Where did I put it? Please, strange, you must get it back. Find a way in. Dull and duller, like I said. <gasps> I found a way in! I do not see it here! Wrong again! Focus! Which makes you very lucky. Smart, you mean. 
I must have taken Mother's axe out of the house, knowing this fool would forget it. And left the key in its place. You two are as useful as a glass hammer. I'm leaving. Do not listen to that drivel, brother. We must endure. The world will know us by name soon enough. You, alchemist. What happened to me after I drank that piss? How should I know? I told you, I cannot explain how it works. What I can say is the elixir hit you particularly hard. You stumbled out of here, then began sprinting across this forest as if you had a nose for something. Very feral. I was worried, but I'm glad to see you are all right. Your wealth has swelled, has it not? In a manner of speaking, I awoke in a cave beside a dead man clutching some treasure. Hmm. I've not heard that outcome before. One of your customers on the same pursuit, I think. Only he was not so lucky. 
Perhaps I should shelve this elixir for the time being. At least until I can better understand its effects. Good thinking. Man your oars. Can't raise the sail yet. This wind would fill the sail. More sail! sail Easy, friend. I think you may have eaten something that did not agree with you. Today, my saga is writ! Glory! Ah, oh, a brave steed has swept me up! Onward to my loyal companion! If I don't stop him, something or someone this forgiving will. I should stay close by, wait for him to tire. I have 
have the strength of 1,000 doors. I cannot be stopped. I feel sick in my body, but it is my Hugur that will prevail. should be cautious around here. I may throw up! I may throw up! <gasps> You keep this up, you're going to get yourself killed. Are you hearing me? Yeah! Loud and clear! Now stand aside so that I may fulfill my destiny! Yeah! I'm going to have to drag you back myself, eh? Neska, where are you? I must find my way back to you. My saga is complete, and it is the envy of all who came before, and all who are yet to come! Oh, if my mother could see me now! There is no resisting this lasting legacy I have forged. A wise man said it best, to resist. Your skull. Gods, is he dead? No, but he should be. Seems the gods disagree this time. Splash water in his face and keep your distance. You'll throw up something fierce. Thank you for the advice, and for your trouble, which is now my problem. <sighs> Just hold on tight. Stay back. Do not touch this tree. All right. What is your name? May. Eivor. Something about this tree important to you. It's the leaves. My father said he would return home before they'd all fall into the ground. And now only one remains. And still no return. It's been six weeks. Six weeks since he's gone to Lincoln in search of work. I wish he stayed. Just one more season. He was so sure the fields wouldn't yield, but we could have tried. Your father sounds like an honest man. Went looking for work to take care of you. He would make every effort to return home. And that is reason enough to hope. But this... It serves no purpose to fret like you are. 
Then what should I do? Carry on, as if you were to return tomorrow, no matter what happens to this leaf. Yes. Yes, I shall do as you say. My father would want the same. Thank you, Eivor. Maybe... Maybe I'll wait just a little bit longer. Till the goats begin to bray, or... Yes. A little longer. That's it then. Carry on with your life, May. Everything will be all right.
we seen this? Yeah, it's weird. An anomaly of some kind. The rest of your simulation is frozen. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if I could reach it. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is. Wake, my love, wake! Soldiers at our door! They've come for you! For us! Let them take me! I have no more fear! Let me air my wrath in the courts! They'll kill you before they let you speak! I'll appeal to the council! They must know what the Mad One has done! They're upon us! Now is not the time! Closing in on the data packet. I see it. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. I got the data. Sending it now.
Attack on sight here.
have to do? Have I lost my touch? Am I cursed? I... Mm. Smells good. Oh, please. I'm irritated enough already. The last thing I need is someone lying to my face. It is a compliment, Saxon. Take it. What are you brewing, anyway? I call it Ledichestershire sauce. That is a mouthful. What is wrong with it? It doesn't come close to meriting such a sizable name. That's what's wrong with it. And I've tried. Lord, have I tried. But I cannot, for the life of me, strike the perfect balance. I should just give up. As I look around, that is hard to argue. You wouldn't happen to be carrying a needle, would you? Not the first thing I grab when I set off for the day, no. I've fished everything in Lederchester but the eel. And you think this elusive river snake could be the answer to your sauce woes? There's only one way to know for sure. All right. If I wrangle one, I shall bring it to you. Yes, please. I must try, if only to rule it out. Thank you.
Good to see you. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles, and you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I'll join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. 
It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our...